Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold your result is the mal if the malicious removal tool that is distributed monthly through Microsoft or Windows Update is unable to run or it's being blocked by the system administrator, contact your system administrator for more information. I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to go and jump into it. So start by opening up the start menu. Just off on the start button one time. Type in regedit. So R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, go back to registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. So before you proceed in the registry editor, I would highly suggest you make a backup. So in order to do that, it's very simple. Go ahead and left click on the file tab up in the top left. Left click on export. Export range, I would make sure to select that to all. And then save it to convenient location on your computer. As for file name, usually the date in which you're making the backup is a good choice. And then you just would left click on save. And then if you ever need to go back from the backup, just would do file import and navigate over the file. So pretty straightforward process of how to do that as well. So once you made your backup, now you want to expand H key local machine. So either double click on it or left click on a little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Do the same thing now for policies. Again, same thing for Microsoft now. Go down to Windows, double click or again left click on the little arrow next to it to expand that drop down. Now there should be something in here that says safer. Expand that. And now there should be something that says malicious removal tool or MRT underneath safer. You want to go right click on that and then left click on delete. If you receive a confirmed key delete, you want to left click on yes. At this point, I was just closing out of here. Restart your computer and hopefully that's been able to resolve the problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.